Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how to use the new add-ons for Google Slides. Now, to use these, you'll see there's a new add-ons menu available in Google Slides. If you're in a G Suite for Education account, you might not see these add-ons available to you for a week or two from right now, but if you're using a Gmail address as I am right now, uh, add-ons are now available. So go up to the add-ons menu, select get add-ons, and then you can pick one of the seven add-ons that are available right now. In this case, I want to show you how to use Unsplash Photos. These are free high-definition photos that you can use in any of your slides. So click on the free button. It's going to ask to authorize your account. And now we'll see under add-ons a new Unsplash Photos. We'll select insert. And you'll see down here this little reminder, free to use for anything. Now, if you want to get more information about the licensing, go ahead and click on this link. Let's open that in a new tab. And we'll see here uh, all the licensing details. All right, they're free. You can use them for commercial and non-commercial purposes. You don't need to ask permission or provide credit, although it is appreciated when possible. So let's say I want to find a picture of a puppy. Let's go and find a puppy picture. And it seems to help if you spell puppy correctly. There we go. And now we'll find all manner of puppy pictures. We can pick this one here. And you'll see in this case it's automatically sized to full screen, but you can click and drag and reposition it. Now, if I wanted to provide credit to the contributor for this photograph, we'll see the contributor's name appears right there. I right click on it, I'll copy the link address, I'll put it down here in the speaker notes. I may also want to do something like this on the slide and write in something like image credit. And now I have a little image credit in there. So that's how you can use Unsplash Photos in the new add-ons for Google Slides. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetech4teachers.com and practicaledtech.com.